Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session, I am going to teach about uh, how to draw the half adder circuit using transmission gate. So this half adder circuit we familiar in digital electronics and also VLSI circuit. Let me draw the logic diagram for half adder circuit. So in this half adder circuit, it has a uh, two inputs, A and B. So it's a simple circuit for half adder. A and B is the input. This X or gate give the result sum. And AND gate give the result cap. So Boolean expression for sum A X or B. So this expression I elaborated right here. A B bar plus a bar b so it's a simple boolean expression for sum now i write carry equation so carry equation is a dot b so it's a simple logic diagram for half adder circuit the corresponding boolean expression for sum and carry now i'm going to write the truth table for half adder circuit a and b is the input and in this half adder circuit, it gives two output sum and carry. So, these two combination of input make four inputs 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, these two input variables generate the four combinations of input values. I just add these two values A plus B. 0 plus 0, some value 0, carry also 0. 0 plus 1, some value 1, carry value 0. 1 plus 0, some value 1, carry value 0. 1 plus 1, some value 1, carry value 1. So it's a truth table for half a cycle. Now I am going to transfer this logical circuit into transmission gate logic circuit. So in this truth table, A is the primary input. So let us consider A is the primary input and B is the control input. I am going to transfer this logical gate into transmission gate. First I draw the symbol of transmission gate. So this transmission gate arrangement is PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor connected parallel manner. So in this truth table, B value is a control signal. So B bar and B is our output. And one more gate record because it's a two variable. So it's B bar, this one is B. So let us consider B value is 0. So first case, B value is 0. So A value 0, some value 0. A value 1, some value 1. So in this case, when B value equal to 0, some value is equal to A. So this first transistor connect to input A value. So A is the input of first transmission gate. Then next case, B value is 1. So in this case, A value 0, some value is 1. A value 1, some value is 0, just a complement of A value. So, sum equal to complement of A. So, second transmission gate is connect to A bar. Just a short, these two output of transmission gate. Finally, you get the result sum. So, when B value equal to 0. So, when B value equal to 0, input is A, so A input is transferred to sum when B value equal to 1, complement of A value is transferred to sum. So it's a XOR gate equivalent transmission gate structure. Now I am going to draw the carry circuit and operation. So here also we need to transmission gate. 
So these two outputs are short and get the result carry. These two are input of first transmission gate and second transmission gate. So let us consider first B value is 0. So B value is 0, A value is 0 and 1. So A value is 0, carry value is 0, A value 1, carry value 0. So irrespective of A value, the result carry is 0. So B bar B, B bar B. So when P value equal to 0, so in this case, irrespective of A value, the result is 0. So the first transmission gate is connected to ground. So ground represents logic 0. Logic 0. When B value equal to 0, the logic 0 is transferred to carried. Then next case, B value is 1. So when B value equal to 1, A value is 0, carry value is 0, A value 1, carry value 1. So in this case, carry value equal to A value. So input of second transmission gate is A. When B value equal to 1, so whatever value present in A, the content is transferred to carry. So it's a simple structure of a half order circuit using transmission gate. First you draw the logical diagram, then you write the expression for sum on carry, then you write the truth table. So after words, you just convert this logic diagram into transmission gate. So in this truth table, one input considered as a primary input and another one input considered as a controlling input. In this diagram, I am taking B is the controlling input, A is the primary input. So based on that, now here I am drawing the transmission gate circuit for half a circuit. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.